Caroline welcoming you to The Slice, a weekly tennis show where we take a look at everything that's going on in the world of Canadian tennis. There was no shortage of exciting moments this year on the courts, so we decided to take our favorite moments of 2017 and put them into this top 10 list. A lot of drama surrounded Maria Sharapova's return to the WTA this spring, and right at the center of it was Jeannie Bouchard's second round match in Madrid. But Jeannie delivered and defeated Maria Sharapova in three sets to halt the comeback. What a statement victory that is for Jeannie Bouchard. You're gonna have to remember. It was an amazing year for Canadian tennis on the challenger circuit, and among those players who brought in their first title were Felix Auger Alassim, Denis Shapovalov, Carol Zhao, and Philip Pelwo. Philip Pelwo won the Knoxville Challenger title and also picked up six ITF Futures titles. He took to Twitter to thank fans. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you for all of your support up till now. It's been a great year and to finish it off with my first Challenger title, it's unbelievable. It's been an unreal. If Bianca Andreescu was experiencing any first time jitters before her first WTA main draw match, she wasn't showing it. The 17-year-old reached the quarterfinals, picking up her first top 20 win, and also earned herself WTA Breakthrough Player of the Month. Coming off some clutch Davis Cup action the month before, Vashik Pospisil impressed again, this time in Indian Wells. He picked up one of the biggest wins of his career, defeating then world number one Andy Murray in the second round, leading us to believe that anything is possible. The world number 129 beats the world number one. The number six moment on our list is the not one, but two Junior Grand Slam titles picked up by Bianca Andreescu and Carson Branstein this year. The pair won the girls' doubles title at the Australian Open and French Open, and also reached the finals at the WT event in Quebec City. In the five spot is Canada's epic performance at the Davis Cup World Group Playoff against India, this past September in Edmonton. An all-round team performance saw Canada cement their spot in the World Group for a seventh straight year. After going undefeated in regional group action this past February in Mexico, Canada's Fed Cup team persevered and produced a 3-2 victory over Kazakhstan in Montreal to get back to the World Group 2 level for 2018. While Felix Auger Alassim captured two challenger titles this year, it was his maiden victory that comes in at number three on the list. He became one of the youngest players ever to win a challenger title at just 16 years and 10 months old. The win also saw him crack into the top 250, becoming one of the youngest players to do so since Juan Martin Del Potro in 2005. And speaking of making history is Gabriela Dabrowski's incredible performance at Roland Garros. She became the first Canadian woman ever to capture a Grand Slam title when she did so alongside India's Rohan Bopana and lifted the mixed doubles title. When you have the kind of year that Denis Shapovalov had, it's kind of hard to pick just one highlight, and that's why we didn't. Coming at number one spot on our list is the Summer of Shapo. Over three months, he won a challenger title, broke into the ATP Top 100, reached the fourth round of the US Open from Qualies, and who can forget that performance in Montreal when he brought down the house at Coupe Rogers, defeating Rafael Nadal. Our friends at Twitter crunched the numbers and reported that that match was his most tweeted about of 2017. What do you think? Did we get it right or is there something missing? Lists are meant to be debated and we want to hear from you. Connect with us on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram and let us know. That's it from us. I'm Caroline. It's been a slice.